guilty. So far, we've talked about evil people and the subtle ways they express their inner malevolent desires. Not all evil people like to be sly about it. Some choose to be outward with it. And one way they do so is through cruelty. This can come in the form of getting into fights, hurting their loved ones, their spouses, their children, their friends, or even hurting animals. Evil people are often victims of the prisons they've built for themselves, which is why they take so much joy out of misfortune and pain. It dulls the pain they each have inside of their hearts. But that doesn't mean you justify it or stick by evil people. If you're with someone who expresses themselves in such cruel ways, find ways to get away as soon as you can. One day, they may push their cruelty too far and really do some serious damage. Evil can be defined, but it's hard to pin down. Simply put, an evil person is someone who engages in malevolent behaviors. Some argue that they're immoral, sick, depraved, or wicked, but those words are hard to define. Immorality to one is normalcy to another. But when you meet an evil person, no amount of questioning definitions will change your mind. The truth is, you will know it when you see it. Evil people come from all sorts of places. Spot these characteristics in someone and you can be sure that whatever good is left in them, they will use it against you. Be sure to share this with the people you love to let them know. <laughs>